Hello everybody, this is Jerry Duty Summons, and this is Oregon Trail, the Director's Cut. And this is an interesting game that popped up on a recent Steam sale, I think it's for something like $4 or whatever. <laughs> it looked interesting, I loved Oregon Trail back growing up, um, and I like zombies, and so, um, what the hell, why not, right? See how they, see how they work together. <laughs> so anyway, let's take a look at the options real quick volume just all right well I don't know what happened there but the volume like reset itself going into the options menu let's turn everything back down high volume is just a little too loud okay Twitter prompt um follow me on Twitter you may have seen me tweet some of these I I don't know <laughs> disable it for this <laughs> Mouse key, mouse plus keyboard. This seems to work pretty well. And that's it for options. I really wish there was a resolution option, but um, it doesn't appear to be one. There we go. I think that's good. We're going to go campaign mode. Uh, do a new game. Yes. All right. Go normal difficulty. You've played it once before. Would you like to skip the intro sequence? Clementine. Clements will be sad. Um, let's play the intro, folks. Clements is an awesome guy. Draw a line between yourself and the target to shoot. So, do that, and bam. Of course, I apparently suck at this, so... There we go. Zombies. Uh, well, it's too many. Uh-oh. I'm out of ammo. Well then, it looks like I just saved your bacon. I reckon we stand a better chance out there if we stick together. My name is Clements. I used to be a priest, not so much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? Jerry Oskel uh, Denis. Got some uh, friends you can count on? Sure. Curly, Larry, Mo, and uh, Frank. <laughs> That's correct. I don't know. Probably not. There's a good chance if they're still alive, they will be at the shelter set up in D.C. If they have any sense, that is. Probably don't. We're going to need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon back a few blocks. These things might not be very reliable, but you'll be surprised how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get moving. All right. By the way, as you can see that the, um, the style of the game is quite... Well, kind of odd. The game style is very, very kind of like basic. Um, it's very much, if you've ever played Oregon Trail, it's very similar. All right, I think we've got just enough food and fuel for us to make it to DC on this baby. Let's hit the road, I'll drive. All right, let's do it. Let's do it to it. And this part of the game, you just kind of wait and then things happen. Ah, uh, Clement's broken arm. How'd you break your arm? Dude, hands and arms inside the vehicle we're driving. Dysentery? Oh god, no! Not dysentery! <laughs> Damn it! Don't get bit by a zombie! Stay in the car! And run a fuel. But, we are at Washington, D.C. Just a station wagon. Runs out of fuel, you run quickly. You hear radios blaring in the nearby window. Repeat! All survivors who are still... All survivors who re still remain in Washington, D.C. The government has declared a Class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. Looks like we have a time problem. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. Uh, is there a place on the West Coast? That's where we're going to be heading. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. There you go. Okay, you got 12 hours. This is how you get the beginning supplies. This is, you got essentially 12 hours to figure it out. So uh, I'm going to go for fuel here. A couple of fuel. Let's go a few more than that. There we go. Should be good. It's good enough to get started. Food is not too hard to get. Need some ammo. Tires, mufflers, batteries. Um, damn. Get a med kit just because. Um, 
Yeah, that, that sounds good, I guess. What does that journal say? Well, anyway. All these parts you definitely need. Your friends join the party. <laughs> well, that doesn't look like anything familiar, does it? That's great. Everyone's here. It's just one thing. Back there on the road, one of those things bit me. I said to keep your goddamn arms inside the vehicle. I'm already not feeling too well, and I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. We have dysentery. You're going to have to put me down. Why don't you just keep my journal? It may help you out there. Good luck. Boom! That's kind of gruesome. Sorry, Clements. Put you down. All right. This is the um, the wait sequence. There's our vehicle. There's our wagon, as it were. Station wagon. Ha. <laughs> Check engine light is on for some reason. Various things will happen to you as you go through that will affect your party. Uh, sometimes you'll find things like here we found a gravestone. You see the grave of some poor soul buried at the side of the road. Will you stop to look? Sure. Here lies Jason. He fought bravely, but not wisely. Oh no, it's a zombie! Uh. Sorry, bro. Alright, we continue along. See what happens next. Frank was holding onto the map upside down. God damn it, Frank. I tell you every time. It's gonna be an hour out of our way. Dang it, Frank. My gas can was filled with water. Who did that? Oh, wait, I collected the gas. We have 30 cans left, so we should be good for a while. Quite a while. You hit a deer that jumps out in front of your car. Oh, and that damages the station wagon. The station wagon is kind of a character in and of itself, so um, you have to keep track of it. Hey, we've arrived, somebody. You don't notice a speed bump on the road. Everyone hits their head as you fly over it. Damn it. Pittsburgh. And having been to Pittsburgh once, this is very accurate. So this is a town. You're going to come across settlements like this fairly often. You can um, do all sorts of stuff. There's an auto shop. You can often get upgrades. That's what the upgrade is here. The never or break battery. Batteries never need replacing. So if I had 40 bucks, I could get that. Maybe I can get 40 bucks. Let's see here. What kind of jobs are available here? Okay, this one gives money here. I've dropped something of great value just in a town. Could you get it for me? I'll give you 13 bucks. Sure. Let's do it. So, yep, here is the gunning. The way you shoot is you go like this. Yep, pretty easy. Pretty basic stuff. The big fat zombies take two shots. It looks like a bow on their head, but it's not. earn $13. Yay. Uh, most partially away there. Another way to get supplies and whatnot is scavenge. Although it is a little bit dangerous right now. So let's do something here. Uh, I don't want to do that. Okay. So in the party tab, you can always rest. And that is how you, your, your uh, group. Oops. Let's actually want to rest here. This is how your group will regenerate health. Your character, the main character, doesn't seem to generate health this way. I couldn't tell you why. Let's top up. Okay. All right. The zombie activity is still deadly. Uh, well, let's take a look at trading to see what people out there are doing here. They want one of my tires for one of their batteries. No, thanks. They want one of my batteries for $18. I'll take that. That gets me most of the way to 40 bucks. 
I have a little bit of food and a bit of ammo. Let's see what I can inspect to town and see what we have for sale here. Ah, fuel, scrap, food, medkits, and ammo. Let's see what we can sell. I, I just want to get $9. I can sell most of my scrap and get $9. Let's do that for now. Scrap is used for repairing the vehicle. But uh, for right now, we're vehicles are okay, and I think I can probably get more later before it gets urgent. Okay. So we have just enough money. Go back to the auto shop. You can also do repairs in the auto shop as well. But I would rather buy the Never Break battery. I have one dollar left. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. You must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The zombie horde in front of you is currently massive in size and appears to be ravenous. Can anyone continue? Uh, when you come across something like this, you need to be careful of how big it is, so massive, and how aggressive it is. This is ravenous. So this is kind of dangerous. I think I'm going to wait. So wait a, wait a little while here, see what happens. Okay, so the horde has changed, it's still massive, but it has changed to docile. It might be possible to sneak through at this point. Just choices. You can sneak through. If the hordes aren't very aggressive looking, you might be able to slowly drive through them without drawing their attention. Maybe it'll fight your way through. A large and angry horde may be able to be, a, so if, you have, if the horde is small and angry, fighting way through is probably a good option. If it is docile, probably sneaking. Uh, if there's mercenaries nearby, you can hire them to let you through, but that's expensive, so and there aren't any mercenaries here by here, essentially. So, massive and docile. Let's see what happens. You don't actually have to do anything. It just kind of gets, shows us the animation and then tells you what happens. Hey, we made it! <laughs> All the sounds are very much uh, Apple IIc kind of things. Back when this is a Oh, lost in the backcountry for an hour. I get lost right out of town. Right out of Pittsburgh, I get lost. It's a bridge, I guess? I don't know. Oh, good. Found roadkill. How delicious. So food is in ounces. So that's like 10 pounds right there. You eat about one food per person per hour. Heavy Rebel has rendered your car stuck. Oh. Bummer. Things like that. So actually, we got we got uh, zombie activity in medium right now. So let's stop and see if we can scavenge. Medium we can deal with. Anything else is a little bit difficult. So we're what we're doing here is this is kind of like the hunting that you had in or old Oregon Trail, but it's a little bit different. Ooh, what's this? I don't, know, don't know what that is. Ah. Uh, well, I managed to get seven ounces of food and two scrap, but unfortunately, I was hurt in the encounter. So, if you look at my party, you can see that my health is down a little further now. So, I want to try it one more time. There we go. Big bag of food right there. That's good. survived that time so that's good i found uh quite a bit of food and 10 scrap so there we go we got some scrap so i wasn't too worried about selling what we had before because we can you can pick up scrap food and I think mostly, mostly scrap and food you can occasionally get uh, med kits though and other stuff sometimes anyway 
anybody out here to trade? Oh, he wants to trade me 100 food for 3 scrap. Um, I'm going to say no. Well, I don't know. Yeah, let's take it, I guess. Kind of need more food than we need scrap right now. Done. We're back on the road. Oh, another city coming up. Ah, fuel can just disappearing. Every time you go, every, uh, like, kind of move and pause, it's a quarter fuel tank. Curly throws 19 fuel at his, 19 ammo at a zombie. Damn it, Curly, I told you. Keep telling you. This is the Mall of America, the Epoch. Oh. Epoch. -o. <laughs> Left to die. <laughs> So what we got here? He has ammo to sell, and that's it. He doesn't really want to pay very much for anything I have, so I can sell food, but it's not very much. And it's not one for one, it's one for ten. <laughs> Combat trainer. Money scavenger, you'll find more. So if I had $80, I could get this uh, technique here, and that would help me out when I'm scavenging. I don't have any money right now, but um, that's a scavenging. Oh, zombie activity is low. Money is one of the things you can find. I guess money scavenger would help you get that more than anything else. Food. That's excellent. Shopping carts are the big food things. That's some scrap right there. Scrap, like a duct tape roll or something, I guess. All right, fat zombie. Cool. I found quite a bit of food, actually. This is the most food you can carry, by the way, 250. Uh, just like in the old Oregon Trail, if you have too much, you'll just throw the rest away. You also found 25 scrap. That's quite a bit of scrap. And since we got some scrap, I'll show you guys how that used. Got the car tab, repair, and then you can use, like say you use one scrap, you have a 20% chance of success. Five scrap, and you got a 65% chance, 62% chance of success. 10, almost 100%, so 92%. So I'm not really sure. I think um, five is probably actually a really good number. Although it takes an hour to try it. Let's see what happens here. Hey, successful. Let's do that one more time. Whoops. All right, let's see what happens. Yes, cool. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but oh well. If I get lucky on a one, that's actually pretty good. That probably won't happen though. My goodness, it did happen. All right, well, that's odd. Can I sell? I can sell that scrap right now. Can I get to 80? Because I'd like to get to 80. I can sell some med kits, I guess, but I don't really want to do that. I can sell a bunch of scrap. Although he only pays one per scrap, which is not very much at all. One per food is really common. Um, sometimes food will go up to three. Scrap will go up to like five sometimes on the sell. Med kits. 9 to 12 or 30 to buy. So. Which ammo does he have for sale? Ammo's always good to have extra of. Yeah, I'm done. Doesn't have anything I want. Well, anyway, this is Oregon Trail Director's Cut. It's available on Steam right now. It was actually part of their... Um, what's it called? Their uh, It was a Kickstarter campaign first. And then it was part of the, the, the Steam Greenlight program. Larry, get your goddamn arms inside the vehicle. So you can see Larry's health went down because of that. He used to be level with uh, Curly and Mo. Holy eerie. Ooh, I found food. Not that I needed more food, really, but... 500 ounces of food. Indianapolis. So each city you run to has uh, these different... Uh, 
Auto shop. What is their upgrade today? Arbored window. Zombies. Most likely to get bit by zombies. Well, that sounds bloody useful. I don't have any money, but it sounds pretty useful. So, the party needs to rest. We have these med kits. These will automatically heal somebody for, I think it's like 30% of the health. Like, you can, I'll do it to myself here. So, all the way to health. Um, it's probably not a good idea to waste them on these guys. Although, it's good to keep them alive. They can actually be healed by rest. So, you know, for instance, that a calorie game up uh, and eat them, like, right through there. Yep. So, he would just need a couple more days to get back up and, and uh, in good shape. Supplies looking good. We got tires and stuff. Missing a battery because we traded, I believe. Is there a trade? There it is under supply. Do I want to buy one tire for eleven dollars? No, that's actually a really trappy price. Okay. Well, anyway. There's one more encounter I wanted to show. Let's see if we can get into it somewhere here. Nope, guess not. Frank is exhausted. I guess sitting in a car is exhausting. <laughs> Damn it, Frank. No longer exhausted. Well, I'm glad you got to sit in the car and rest. Curly walks off to take a piss and comes back with a bite wound. Oh. Ah, <sighs> Curly. That means he will eventually turn. Not necessarily soon. We can keep him alive for a while, but eventually we'll turn. Farmland. Actually, no. Chance to not use a bullet when you fire. That's pretty cool. They have medkits for a reasonable price and ammo for okay price. Do you want to buy something from me? Not really, I guess. Done. Uh, zombie activity, deadly. I'll scavenge the deadly zombie activity, why not? Get some duct tape. got the food I got some food and scrap which is never a bad thing that was difficult though let's leave come on uh yep this is the one I wanted to show you a bike gang follows you out of the settlement to click anywhere to continue use the water or arrow keys to move bandits will try to pull up to your next shoot just crash into them to stop them. so pretty simple mechanic damage but um, yeah unfortunately I can't, can't do nothing about it so that is Oregon Trail director's cut uh, <laughs> just flies out the window damn it someone hold, in that, hold, someone hold down all that scrap anyway this is a good little game uh, I enjoyed it I played through it once already it was kind of fun. I think it took maybe two hours to complete. Something like that. I didn't really time, but it's in that, in that ballpark. Um, but it was pretty fun. Worth playing. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, check out the game if you get a chance. Talk to you later.